بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنو جینئر ان دس لیکچر آئی ویل ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپس آف ون ٹربائن اینڈ ہاؤ اٹ ورکس واٹ آر دا میکینیکل کمپوزیشن واٹ آر دا ایڈوانٹیجز آف ڈیفرنٹ ٹائپس آف ون ٹربائن ایز یو سی ان دا ڈائگرام یو ویل انڈرسٹینڈ دیٹ دیر آر ٹو ٹائپس آف ون ٹربائن ون از ہارزنٹل ایکسس ون ٹربائن اینڈ سیکنڈ ون از ورٹیکل ایکسس ون ٹربائن If you see, this is basically the horizontal axis wind turbine in which uh, the center or yeah, axis of rotation is basically in parallel with the uh, surface. Uh, like if you see, this is basically axis of rotation and this is the surface. So the angle of rotation is in parallel with the, uh, with the surface. While if you see this one, uh, uh, the axis of rotation, axis of rotation is basically perpendicular to the surface so this is called horizontal axis wind turbine and second one is called vertical axis wind turbine so we will discuss in detail the working principle of these two axis wind turbine so uh, first of all what is wind energy wind energy refer to the process of creating electricity using wind or air flow that occur naturally in the uh, in the earth's uh, atmosphere Modern wind turbines are used to capture kinetic energy from the wind and generate electricity. So, wind turbines, the, the common name for the wind turbine is basically the windmill. There are other names which are normally used for the wind turbine is uh, wind driven generator, wind generator, wind turbine, wind turbine generator, wind energy conversion system. And specifically, the word wind turbine doesn't mean that it, uh, it uh, uh, just has the turbine. It has other parts which are used to, uh, to, com uh, to, to combine with the turbine to produce electricity. So, the basic composition of the wind turbine is it, it converts kinetic energy of the wind into mechanical energy and then mechanical energy to electrical energy. Almost all the wind turbines have the same working principle even the size is smaller or the larger. The only difference with different types of wind turbine is that some wind turbines produce DC output voltage because they are using DC generator and some wind turbine produces AC uh, output voltage because they are using AC uh, generator. The common parts of the wind turbine is basically the blade and, uh, a, and the blades are connected with the center uh, point of axis which is basically the hub. Hub is the point where the multiple blades are connected and from the hub there is a enclosed body which is known, known as nacelle. Inside nacelle there is a gearbox and the generator and uh, there is a special mechanism which is called a yaw mechanism. And uh, uh, this complete structure is supported by a tower and uh, in the below of the tower there is a control circuitry which control the frequency or the output voltage of the uh, wind turbine. And uh, f from the control there are some control signal which move toward the uh, gearbox and the gearbox adjusts the gear ratio according to the requirement and uh, from uh, the uh, and then the output is feed to the transformer and then transformer step up the output voltage and feed to the high voltage transmission line so this is basically the internal circuit so if you see this is uh, the uh, uh, this is basically the rotor inside the rotor there is a hub and the blades and uh, if you see the angle of the blades are basically called as pitch and from the uh, from the blade there is a shaft and that shaft is basically low speed shaft which is dependent on, on the speed of the blades and from that shaft there is a gear mechanism if you see there is a gear mechanism the above side of the gear mechanism is attached with the low speed shaft and the below side of the gear mechanism is attached with the high speed shaft and the high speed shaft basically uh, according to the turn ratio and this speed is decided based on the frequency which we want to generate and there is a generator which is basically a permanent magnet generator uh, these are basically the permanent magnet and this is basically the coil when this coil moves in this permanent magnet it will produce electricity there are some controllers over here, some metering mechanism which is basically the anemometer. The anemometer is used to measure the speed of the wind and wind vane which is used to measure the direction of the wind. And these two informations are fed to the uh, controller which is used to control the gear ratio. 
there is another mechanism gear mechanism which is basically the yaw mechanism at which the wind turbine is ported and that yaw mechanism is used to adjust the direction of the wind turbine specifically toward the wind or against the wind so in order to produce maximum mechanical energy based on the speed of the wind and then all the all this mechanism is supported by a tower and uh, there is a nacelle which is basically the closed surface which is uh, basically weather shield which protect the whole uh, mechanical composition of the wind turbine so there are two types of wind turbine as i already told you one is the horizontal axis wind turbine the second one is vertical axis wind turbine this is basically the structure of the horizontal axis wind turbine where the center of the uh, wind turbine basically the uh, axis of rotation of the wind turbine is in parallel with the surface so there are two types of horizontal axis wind turbine a one is uh, upwind and the second one is downwind so what is upwind upwind basically the uh, when the direction of the wind turbine or the blade is toward the direction is opposite to the direction of the wind so it will it will uh, uh, generate uh, the uh, it, the turbine blades are basically stiff and hard to support the, uh, the to support the speed of the wind and uh, to produce maximum amount of electricity so uh, the um, specifically if you see that the blades are placed at a considerable distance in front of the tower and are tilted up uh, a small amount and it requires a complex yaw control mechanism to force the blade to face the wind direction up wind mechanism operate more smoothly and deliver more power more, mostly in modern wind turbine where the speed is Uh, uh basically uh, an average speed uh, there is not a uh, very high speed so there is another type of the wind turbine which is known as downwind horizontal axis wind turbine where the direction of the wind is opposite to the direction of the blade so it basically passes the tower first and then goes to the blade so uh, the, the horizontal axis uh, wind turbine does not have a additional mechanism like like vertical axis uh, like uh, uh, upwind because uh, the direction is opposite to the wind and uh, uh, it in it and in high wind the blade can be allowed to bend with uh, uh, which reduce the swept area and thus the wind resistance it increase blade, uh, blade noise and decrease the input power so the second type of the wind turbine is basically the vertical axis wind turbine this is a special structure of the uh, uh, vertical axis wind turbine and uh, in this vertical axis wind turbine the axis of rotation is in par in perpendicular with the surface so in horizontal axis wind turbine uh, the main mechanical structure is basically enclosed at the top of the tower while in the vertical axis wind turbine the main the mechanical structure can be embedded over here on the surface so the chances to produce uh, uh, more uh, uh, um, um, uh, to produce a lighter weight wind turbine and to produce more electricity using Uh, these vertical axes is much more as compared to the horizontal axis while uh, the common type of the wind turbine which is used in the field is basically the horizontal axis wind turbine because uh, the horizontal axis structure uh, is quite uh, comfortable as if if we, if you see that the capability to produce maximum amount of electricity or the size is uh, uh, is limited as compared to the vertical axis so the major advantages of the vertical axis wind turbine is the wind from any direction can rotate the blade a yaw mechanism is not needed in the vertical axis wind turbine the generator gear box and so forth may, may be placed at the ground and the tower may not be needed for uh, for the machines the heavy machinery contained in the nacelles can be located down in the ground as the heavy equipment is placed on the top of the tower the tower itself need not to be structurally as strong as horizontal axis wind turbine the tower can be lightened even further when the uh, gear wires are used which is fine for for the tower located on the land but not for the offshore uh, installation 
the the major disadvantages of vertical axis wind turbine is the blades are relatively close to the ground where the wind speed are lower the power output is less as the wind increase as the tube of the velocity the wind near the surface of the earth are not only slower but also more tur uh, turbulent because uh, of the uh, buildings or the uh, uh, trees uh, near the surface of the earth so it increases the stress on the wind uh, vertical axis wind turbine so uh, say the third most important part is it has low starting torque and low swept area thank you hopefully you understand the basic concept of different types of wind turbine if you have any issue query you can ask in the comment section jazakallah stay blessed allah hafiz